coming to you with a video. We're going to do a DIY or how-to video. We're going to do a Easter wreath. Um, if you haven't done so, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell next to it. And also give me a thumbs up. Um, if I sound kind of funny, it's because some of you know I just had dinner work done. Um, let's get started. Um, I hope everybody can see everything okay because y'all know I don't like shooting videos in this view because it's kind of new to me, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, because so you can get a better idea of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. But I'm going to do a wreath using this wreath form. And they have different sizes. You can choose the size that you want. And I have small, medium, and larges, but I chose to do the largest size, and this is 18 inches. And uh, everything I'm using came from the Dollar Tree, so I'm going to make that specific in the title that this is a Dollar Tree DIY Easter wreath, okay? So I hope y'all can see everything good and clear. And I also, I got a few packs of this. This is the um, colorful mesh. I'm going to use uh, this. It has like every color in it. And I like this. And I chose this because it does have all the different colors in it. And I also got this mesh tubing. Um, and I chose the color pink. That has so many different colors of the mesh tubing. And I'm going to use, I picked this up, it had a stake to it that you stick in the ground, but it was so flimsy and I wasn't going to use it for that. But this is just some cheap plastic and I don't think it will hold up outside, so it says let's go uh, hunt for eggs. And you can choose any one you want. I was looking for the truck, but I couldn't find it. So this is the only truck that I found. So I'm going to use that. And I have so many other things. Like eggs and um, different things to stick on it. So you will see that once I'm done. I also got some of these mini eggs. Don't know exactly what all I'm going to put on it yet. But you will see. I also got different types of ribbons. I just picked some up. Don't know if I'm going to use them all. But, yeah. So, the type of, um, the type of reef that I'm going to do is, I call it a wraparound reef. I don't know what anybody else calls it, but that's what I call it, okay? So, and this is pretty much the easiest kind of wreath, really, that to do. And, um, I chose to do it this way because it's also the fastest. And, uh, not to mention, you're also going to need a glue gun and some glue sticks. I have a Gorilla Glue glue gun. And, uh, this is my favorite type of glue gun. I love it. I use this pretty much all the time. So, we're going to get started with all that. Get the tag off. Some of the video might be sped up, so we'll see. So you're gonna turn. It's hard for me to do it on this table because I usually use my. I have a DIY table where I do all my stuff on, but we'll see. Turn it around to towards the back, y'all. It would help if I plugged my glue gun in. <laughs> That's crazy. So, we're going to take a second to get that heated up. Okay, guys. My glue gun is hot. Now we're going to put some glue. I hope you guys can see this right here on the form. Just put some glue on it. Because we're going to try to get it to seal. Have to push it down with your fingers. Okay. 
You're going to pull it as tight as you can. As tight as you can. And then you're going to pull it around. I say do it on the same area at least four times at the beginning. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go all the way around. We're going to wrap this mesh all the way around. And I'm thinking you may, I did another one. It's the spring wreath that I did. I will post a picture of that in here also. But I showed you guys in the last video. Um, I used two, two rolls of this mesh. But oops, then I used one of these colors and I used the pink. So uh, this time I'm just going to use two of these. So uh, you're going to go around this whole thing until it's complete so I'm gonna do that and then when I come back we'll go to the next step okay guys I'm done and guess what I only used for some reason on this one I only used one I just went around it and I only used one um one row of mesh I didn't have to use two I think that one I may have wrapped it more and more but this one I only used one. So now I'm going to start adding my embellishments and my things. Uh, what I want to put uh, glue onto it. So we're going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to add this on here. This I think this is pretty. So I picked the yellow color. And uh, this sticks to this. I don't know. I may have to move this, but next time I'm going to try doing my DIYs on my actual table, but my DIY table has glue and glitter and everything all on it, so anyway. So I'm going to put this on the side right here. I'm going to glue this on the side because when I do it, I'm going to put the ribbon, like the bow or something. I don't I don't know yet, but I, I know that I'm about to put this right here. And you can add any embellishments or any de decorations or anything that you want to put on it. Um, whatever you like or whatever colors you like. This is my first time making a Easter wreath. So... Let's hope it comes out okay. I mean, my spring one came out perfect. Like, it, I really think it was so beautiful. So, let's just hope this one comes out as beautiful as that one did. So, what I'm going to do is, um, I have carrots here. Um, I have eggs here, so instead of running up video time, I know I can speed the video up, but I'm going to go ahead and just start gluing my stuff on, and I'll be back to show you guys everything. But one thing I want to say, you can use like E6000 or uh because i do have gorilla glue but i just choose to use hot glue now if there are some things that i feel that maybe need more glue or because i want this to last through the season i'm gonna use this year round um so i mean not year round but you know every year for easter I want to be able to pull it out like, ah, oh, here's my Easter wreath. I want to use this instead of making a whole new one every year. Um, so, I do want to do that. So, um, yeah, you just want to kind of make sure you use some good, good glue. Because sometimes hot glue may not get everything, you know, may not cut it like you think. 
I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna use any specific order or any specific color. So I'm just gonna, um, glue stuff <laughs> around here. In no particular way. I'm just gonna just glue stuff. And I'll go back and check and make sure it's secure. If it's not, then, like I said, I will go back and use some better glue. And as far as the sign goes, uh, hmm. I'm not sure where I'm going to put the sign. I think I'll put the sign over here. Like, oh, we're sticking to this. Like, on the flower. I think that would be really cute right here. Yeah, I think that would be very cute right there. I want to put a bow on it. Because I want to use some of the other ribbons that I have. But... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll get to all that. Hi, right, Tubies. Okay, this is my Easter wreath. Um, as you can see, I have completed it. I'm I'm not good at making bows. <laughs> So I will tell you that now I suck at making bows. So I had so many different type of, types of ribbon and also the mesh tubing that I added and added a little egg on the middle uh, the front and add, added eggs and carrots all the way around. And then I just got, I don't know what this was called. Um, they had this type of uh, stem plant in so many different colors at the Dollar Tree and I can't remember what it was called but I picked the yellow because I was like yellow would go with pretty much anything so I got the yellow and then I got this and um, I kind of wanted something to put a like maybe a bunny but I don't have anything but bunnies on it and I'm waiting for to go back out and just run and buy something with a bunny on it. So, I like it the way it is. And I think that it's cute. So, it has Easter eggs and carrots and stuff. So, you guys tell me what you think. And, um, like I said, every single thing that I used here came from the Dollar Tree. So, figuring everything up. Let me see. I used this... Which was the steak was a dollar. Let me see two, three, four, five, um, six. N this was probably about eight, eight or nine dollars worth of stuff. None. Of this whole thing was like a ten dollar DIY. So if you want to make, it's way cheaper than going and buying one that's already done um if you want want to be creative and make one yourself it's a great thing to do um because you can get really creative choose any colors any type of decor that you want to use um this is just something that i want to throw together really quick um so and i do like it i like the colors um so I will post pictures of it at the end. So, like I said, this is my $10 uh, Easter Reads DIY. So, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment and leave a thumbs up. Thank you.